I very early developed the philosophy that nutrition was really about two tissues, two tissues, the brain and skeletal muscle. If those two tissues were healthy, you were gonna live a pretty good life. Everything else is regulatory, the liver, the heart, uh, the kidney, the gut, everything else adapts to your environment, but you have to focus on those two. And I think if you tailor your nutritional requirements around that thinking, you end up with a much more sensible approach. And I, I sort of coined the concept that uh, my colleague, Dr. Gabrielle Lyon, and I always use a muscle-centric nutrition. Mm. Uh, and you know, if you keep muscle healthy, you've got a good shot at avoiding obesity, avoiding diabetes, avoiding cancer, et cetera, et cetera. Muscle really serves two functions. One, the obvious one is mobility. Uh, most people uh, get to the age of 65, uh, Beyond that, most people actually die from some form of immobility, falls, breaking something, hospitalization. So functional mobility is critical. But the other aspect is metabolism. And muscle is a primary site for insulin activity. Uh, you mentioned glucose storage. Uh, I look at it more as an issue of glucose utilization uh, uh, and also fat utilization. So basically your blood glucose and your blood lipids are heavily, I mean, obviously the amount you eat makes a difference, but the actual level is heavily dependent on your muscle metabolism. And you sort of commented about insulin resistance being associated with fat, actually insulin causes insulin resistance. So if you chronically elevate insulin too long, uh, that is the definition of type 2 diabetes, is that basically insulin causes insulin resistance. Hmm. So the question then becomes, which one's more likely to be physiological? Hmm. Because people are eating... Um, 350 grams of carbs per day or because they're eating 90 grams of fat per day, which one's likely to cause it? Uh, Bob Wolf, there's a th philosophy called the Randall hypothesis. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard of it, yep. but it basically the philosophy is, uh, the Randall hypothesis was that fatty acids, the diacylglycerol cause all the problems. And what Bob Wolf did was basically run that experiment with say, stable isotopes, and he showed it's actually the reverse, that fatty acids are not inherently toxic, but glucose is. It has its own disease. We call it diabetes. And so when you eat excess carbs, you ha must get rid of them. You absolutely have to dispose of them in the next two hours, where fat basically can hang around for much longer. It's just simply not that toxic to the body. In fact, the body, the, the body always wants a certain level of free fatty acids in the blood because that's the fuel for the heart. Annotated and summarized easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.